got to be a focus on growth. $60 million, how many people? 600. That's a lot. And I think that's what it's about, and this is a huge opportunity for us. Four times nine. 36? The best thing about my relationship with Ann is that it started way before Ann was in. Our relationship started purely from the fact that I had kids and she had kids. And we would just talk about stuff. How do you actually spend your time with your family? <laughs> like, how do you fit it all in? You know, how are you doing? And she said, you gotta keep an eye on this thing. You gotta keep an eye on this, you know, how you approach this part of your life because it could quickly get out of control. How do you go from totally confident to totally not confident? It's taking me a job. So I'm sure you I just, it's like. I know. Just, you gotta relax. I'm Ann Mulcahy. I am one of five women CEOs in the Fortune 500. And I have found some great mentoring from colleagues, from people who've worked for me, um, who've been helpful in shaping and providing feedback and uh, really being a part of what I think has had a really positive impact on my career. We wanted to set up just a half an hour just to get your best ideas on this. Okay. Not only when I was young, when I was old, I wasn't aiming this high. <laughs> and um, certainly, uh, I don't think I would have ever characterized my ambitions when I was young of um, leading a big business or being CEO of a company. Your mail is more than 90% full. I was calling just to say congratulations to you. I just heard last week that you uh, got a big promotion and you're now president of just about everything over there. My name is Ursula Burns and I am currently the president of the Document Solutions and Systems Group. I was born and raised in um, Lower East Side of Manhattan. My mother was an amazing woman. We were four people kind of in this little world of our own in a big world that was not necessarily safe or good or positive. And so her approach to everything was, you know, where you are is not who you are. And kind of where you are is like a circumstance um, of that moment in time and that you can actually change that. Who you are is more important than where you are. You want to take that yes, next row? Yes, Okay. My upbringing is one of the very fortunate aspects of my life. I lived in a house where um, equality was so much a part of the way I was raised, it came as somewhat as a shock to me <laughs> that it wasn't, uh, things were not quite as equal outside the house as they were inside the house. But also I was very fortunate to have four brothers who turned out to be not just as kids, but as adults, great supporters. I ran into a, an excellent set of circumstances in high school. All girl high school, one teacher in particular realized that I was talented and hard-headed enough in a certain number of areas and told me you can actually be just about anything you wanted. At that point, anything you want from the schools that I went to were either a nurse, a nun, or a teacher. The thing that even to this day that I actually bring different than most people to a situation is that I came from a different place. And that different place is positive, not negative. That different place gives me a different way to look at things, a different way to attack a problem. I'd now like to present to you your new president and chief operating officer, Ann Mulcahy. Ann. Over the last 18 months or so, I've had the benefit of working for someone who's one of his major desires was to make me the best prepared candidate to be CEO of this company as possible. And that was a gift. I can tell you that uh, after 24 years at Xerox, I'm honored to have this position. I think back on it and I remember it being a chief staff officer for the company and for the first time I was part of the most senior team of the company. And um, the only woman and much younger than anybody else on the team. And this was a very tenured, you know, capable and, um, and, and certainly <laughs> a lot of egos and personality that uh, dominated conversations. And I remember going to the first two or three um, sets of meetings and they were focused kind of on company strategy and, and certainly new space for me. And I sat back and didn't contribute very much and just kind of felt you know, I was building this feeling of big mistake. I'm out of my league. I shouldn't be here. 
And I was at the point where I, I needed to kind of let Paul know that he had made a mistake. And I said, hey, best intentions, you know how much I appreciate your support, and it's not working out. And he kind of looked at me and he said, and I'm pissed about it. He said, um, you've got everything, you know, to offer to make a contribution in those sessions, and the only thing that's standing in your way is you. And you need to step back and realize that you're there because of your perspective and your experiences, and they're not the same as everybody else's in the room, and that's the value. It was a turning point for me because I did just that. <laughs> I stepped back and thought about it and um, figured out that I was entitled to make that contribution, and uh, I was up for it and, um, and did. She was a great person to talk to. She showed me that she had insecurities as well. And, and dealing with those insecurities are, you know, part of, like, uh, being a leader. I think back to the times when, you know, I was having my children and going through all the, the decisions about, you know, should I come back now, should I wait, you know, how do I work through some of the issues and problems. And those are the times where it really helped me to pick up the phone and, and call a woman colleague and discuss it and help. and or just to share some of the sheer frustrations and concerns and issues about, you know, trying to, you know, be a good wife, a good mother, <laughs> and a business contributor, when there clearly just wasn't enough time in the day to do them all terribly well. So um, I have found the network of women that I've been associated with, um, certainly in the company, outside the company, to be a great source of support. Mm -hmm.